So about six months ago I made a video showing you how to transform your gaming setup with RGB lighting. Today I'm going to show you how to voice control everything in the room and basically feel like Iron Man, computer, turn on the office. So what you just saw there was me turn on my entire office including two PCs with one voice command and it also works the other way around as well so I can tell the computer to turn off the office and it will turn everything off including the two PCs. So Josh, how do you do it? Well guys, let me tell you. Alright, so I'll split this video into two parts. First we'll go through the lighting then we'll talk about the PCs. Just a quick heads up, I will be saying the word Alexa quite a few times in this video. So if you guys have one and you want to mute it, now's the time to do it. Oh, and also everything I talk about today will be linked down below in the description. So if you guys see anything you like, you can go check it out there. But yeah, I've got a lot of RGB products and they all use different control methods. Some are controlled via Wi-Fi using an app, some are Bluetooth, and some are dumb in that they don't have an app. They either just have an on off switch, they're USB powered or they come with a little remote. Now you probably already guessed that I'm using Alexa to turn everything on using one command. This is the Amazon Echo Show 8. And you might have noticed as well that I renamed my wake word from Alexa to computer, just because I think it's a bit cooler. But how do we hook everything up? Well, like I said, some of the RGB products in this room are already Wi-Fi enabled with app control. One of those devices would be the Nano Leafs, and to connect them to Alexa, all I would do is go to the skills and games section in the Alexa app, search for Nano Leaf, let it link to my account, and then simply let it discover new devices. My Nano Leafs will then pop up and bam, I've got voice control. Super easy. Same goes for my Philips Hue lighting, my much cheaper GoV Wi-Fi enabled LED bars, my LifeX Beam, all of these will be linked in the description by the way, along with this smart Galaxy Star Projector. Each of them have corresponding skills which can be enabled within the Alexa app, and they basically just allow Alexa to talk to that device. However, my Govi LED strips, for example, while they do have app control, unfortunately they are Bluetooth, which means that Alexa can't talk to them despite having the Govi skill installed, because these things don't have Wi-Fi and are therefore not visible on my home network. So what do we do here? Well, we use one of these things. This is a Wi-Fi enabled smart socket. There's lots of different brands available on the market, but they all work in pretty much the same way. They allow you to remotely toggle power to the socket via an app. Again, you would just download the required app and set up the smart socket as you would with any other smart home device. Then install the corresponding skill in the Alexa app and bam, you have voice control of that socket. Whatever's plugged into it can be turned on and off. Now, of course, I wouldn't be able to tell Alexa to change the color of the LED strips that I have plugged into this smart socket because remember, Alexa isn't talking directly to the strips, she's talking to the socket. But it does at least allow me to turn the strips on and off, which in this case is all I really need. Now, I use the same exact method for my RGB cabinet lights. Even though they are completely dumb and don't have any app control, I can still add them to my home network and turn them on and off with Alexa. Pro tip, if you've got a bunch of devices all in one area that you want to have group control of, plug all of those devices into a power strip, then plug that power strip into a smart socket, and then you'll have voice control of everything plugged into it. That's what I do for this central part of the room and it works great. Now you guys might not have seen, but my TV and my Dyson fan actually turned on earlier, even though they use old fashioned IR remotes. That's where this thing comes in. It's a smart IR blaster device, which you can teach infrared signals to. So if I wanted to teach it how to turn on my TV, I'd grab my TV remote, point it at this device while pressing the on off button, and it will learn that signal. The same method would apply to my Dyson fan remote. And bear in mind, there's no limit to this. Basically anything a remote can do can be taught to this device. Then you would just install the corresponding skill in the Alexa app, the same as before. And again, you've got voice control. You can name each of the devices, whatever you want. It's really cool. Now, obviously the setup is a little bit more in depth than that. You just have to go through the app. It gives you a step-by-step -step guide. And for those of you wondering, this thing is micro USB powered. Now there is one more thing I haven't spoken about yet. And that is the Neon Banana. Doesn't have a remote. It's completely dumb and to complicate things, it's USB powered. So what I did was get one of these things. Now, I didn't actually know this product existed until I searched for it, but it's made by Sonoff, and basically you plug it into a USB port and it allows you to remotely toggle power to whatever USB device is plugged into it. It uses the eWe Link platform and the setup is very similar to other products. You install the eWe Link app, search for the device, add it, then you go to the Alexa app, install the corresponding skill, let it scan for new devices, and once again, you've got voice control via your Amazon Echo. 
So yeah, USB smart socket. I thought that was super cool. Lots of potential use cases. So that's how I control all of my devices and RGB lighting. They're either Wi-Fi enabled to begin with, or if they're not, I'll just use smart sockets, smart USB dongles, or that cool little IR blaster device. Now we'll mention at this point that once you've added everything to the Alexa app, you can rename them and reorganize them however you want. So I've added all of my devices to a room called Office. So I can just say turn off the office and it'll do everything at once. And of course you can control stuff individually. So if I want to say turn off the neon banana, it'll just do that. So this is the bit you've all been waiting for. Josh, how do you use Alexa to turn your PCs on and off? Well, it uses Wacom LAN technology and I'm going to run you through how to set it up right now. Step one, type device manager into the Windows search bar and hit enter. Step two, click the drop down menu under network adapters. Step three, in this list, look for your main physical Ethernet network adapter. Should be near the top and will usually be called something like Intel or Realtek. Right click it and select properties. Step four, go to the advanced tab, scroll down to the bottom. Make sure wake on magic packet is enabled. If it's not, enable it now and click OK. Step five, next type network properties into the Windows search bar and hit enter. Step six. Now the name of this connection should match the one in the previous step. Just underneath this you will see a 12 character physical MAC address. Note this down, we'll need it in a moment. Alright, step 7. Go to wallskill.com, click the login with Amazon button and sign in using the same account you use with your Amazon Echo. Now that you've logged in, scroll down to the device panel. You'll see two boxes here. In the name box, type in whatever you want to call it. I named mine desktop1. In the Mac box, you're going to put the 12 character MAC address that you just noted down and then click add. Step number eight, go to the skills and games section of your Alexa app, search for wake on LAN or wall skill, it should be the top option, enable it and then link the account. Now after you've done that, Alexa will discover new devices on the network and find desktop one or whatever you named it in the previous step. And that's it, you now have voice control of your PC. From there, you can go ahead and add it to a group within the Alexa app, just like you did with your other devices. I guess I should show you guys this thing in action real quick. So I've actually added the main PC over there and that little IR blaster device that fires a signal at the TV to one group. So I can say to Alexa or computer, computer, turn on desktop one. And you can see there the PC has just turned on and also the TV as well. And it works in reverse as well. So if I say computer, turn off desktop one. You can see there it will put the PC to sleep and also turn off the TV. And I've got my second setup added as well. So I can say computer, turn on desktop two. And there we go. Now there are three things that you need to know. The first is that this will only work if your PC is connected to the internet via an ethernet cable. It will not work over Wi-Fi. The second thing is that it will only wake up your PC from sleep. It won't wake up your PC if it's actually shut down. Unfortunately, that's just to do with how Windows handles power management. And the last thing is that if you want to be able to turn off your PC using Alexa, you will need WallSkill Premium, which you can download from the WallSkill website. It's about 12 euros for a license. But yeah, from there, it'll basically just sit on your PC and wait for you to say Alexa, turn off the PC and yeah, it'll turn it off. You can actually select whether you want it to shut down the PC or put it to sleep. I'd recommend putting it to sleep because obviously then you can wake it back up again. So there we have it guys. That is how I voice control everything in my game and setup slash office. Now, obviously I don't have to use voice commands. I could just control everything via the Alexa app. But either way, it is just really nice to be able to sync everything up because it would be super annoying having to open like eight different apps just to turn everything on. If you guys want to pick up any of the stuff that I mentioned in today's video, I have it all listed down below in the description for you. If you enjoyed, a like rating would be much appreciated. It helps the channel out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more epic content and help me reach 100,000 subscribers. We're nearly there. You can follow me on social media at Tech Tesseract for all the latest and the behind the scenes stuff. But with that being said, hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll catch you all in the next one.